All right, so I go to this this five star. But by the way, the hotel was amazing. The room was cracking. Every this hotel was out of the blew everything out of the water. Right. By the way, very nice five star hotel. So I stay there, and, and that's cool because it's Dubai, and I get to stay in a five star hotel. Now people are giving me looks all, all the way there. You know, like I don't like I don't belong there. You know what I mean? And uh, and, and whatnot. And and. Yeah, you know I mean, and I kind of agreed with them to be very honest. I totally agreed with them. I, I, I really didn't belong there. I looked like I was um, part of some kind of criminal activity. You know, same thing when I was coming back from the airport. Now going to Colombia, taking that, taking the flight to Panama and all that, I had no issues, right? But by the time I was coming back, I told you uh, the lady who I showed the passport to sarcastically tells me like, what, do you even have a job? I said, yeah, I have a job. And she went, you have a job. Like, you know, so I went to this hotel and they thought, they thought I was probably associated with some kind of criminal stuff. You know what I mean? And that's why I was there. And they found it very funny. They, they, they were having a great laugh about it. All right. I had the cleaner come in and, and, and okay. So the cleaners are typically like in, in that, by the way, that hotel was really nice. That five-star hotel. Now, even to be a cleaner there, you got to be like an, uh, like the best cleaner. To be honest, if you're the, if you're a cook there, you gotta be the best cook. If you're a manager, the best manager. If you're on the front desk, you gotta be the best at front desk. So even the cleaners there were like the best. Okay, I'm talking about like 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 like, like they were like they're servicing and their attitude and how polite they were was was absolutely out of the water. Now they would giggle to themselves when they would see me. They'd say, "Hey, should we do this?" And I and I was very um, taken aback. You know what I mean? I wasn't really, uh, I was like, whoa, you're actually gonna, and then I wasn't, at, now the person I was staying with, they were just like, it was normal to them. And and they, and, and, and they would treat that person like it was normal to them. And, and they had an understanding kind of, you know, that person had no issues throughout the place. Everybody was assuming that they, they just belonged there. They didn't think I belonged there though. Yeah, so the cleaner's a little bit giggling to himself. And I would get these little giggles and hee hee. And even when I called the room service to get food, you know, they're like, hee hee. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? They're giggling about it. They think that I'm broke or something. Um, but I wasn't in a good position at that time. I was really oh, man. I was. But anyways, that that was one of the worst. Uh, I mean, oh, that was a tough part of my life. But I mean, that is what it was. You know, I'm not even like like people there were. You know, there were times where people would just whew, move this way. You know, away from me. Um. Yeah, that, that was what it was. Pe people thought I was just really ghetto, you know. Now, at the, at the, at the prior hotel, it was like I fit in perfectly. But over here, it was like they just thought I was so ghetto. They thought maybe I was a killer or, or I was just ghetto or, or, or what. You know what I mean? And I, 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 I look, and, and I'll be honest, I look like the upper class of gangster, to be honest. I look like the upper class of criminal or gangster. And I'll be really honest. I mean, I, mean, I look really good and I look different. And I look kind of refined and stuff. You know, I look, I, I look like the upper class of the gangster or the criminal or whatever. You know what I mean? And I think that's part, partially why they were giggling. You know, to have somebody like that in their hotel. That's not, they don't want people like that at the hotel, by the way. Maybe maybe at the city max, but they don't want people at the, at, that, at a nice, cause that hotel was nice for a five star, by the way. I mean, it was a brilliant five star hotel. They don't want people like that coming in. Because they have a certain clientele that they have. They have clientele coming from all different parts of the world. And all the clientele is like, you know what I mean? Like, like, like all the clientele is very refined. You know, they're, they're, they're respectful. They're, they're usually f foreigners that, are, that, that have come there for shopping. You know what I mean? So they're just staying there and then they go out and they, take a, and they got these luxury taxis. And they take the taxis to Dubai Mall. And then they go shopping and they buy all their stuff and they come back with bags. Uh, the bellman carries their bags for them uh, to the front and then they take their stuff up and they go to their rooms and everything. I mean, that's the kind of clientele that they had or they had business clientele that was dealing with very, very high class business. Um, because they have some kind of business tower there too. They got the Burj Khalifa, which is, which is taller than the CN Tower. Um, and they have all that stuff. but. Um, but I didn't belong there and I knew that. And they don't want people like me there. They don't want people like me there. They don't want people who are, who are, you know, directly involved in illegal kind of, um, activity. You know what I mean? It, it's one thing to be distantly, but it's one thing to actually be in the criminal scene. It's one thing to be present in the criminal scene, in the criminal activity, 
you know, getting your hands dirty and doing dirty work. You know what I mean? And that's how they were looking at me. And I didn't blame them, to be honest. I, I'll be honest right now. I, I, I don't have any hard feelings towards them. Oh, why were they looking? No, I don't have any of that. I understood it completely. I knew the way they were looking at me. I knew the way I looked. And I knew what it was. But it was what it was. You know what I mean? It just, it just man, it just, it, it just, it, it was what it was. And that's all that it was. And that's it. You know what I mean? That's all that it was. I mean, what am I going to say? I've already moved forward. I'm already forward in my life. Should I have ever go back to that same hotel one day, they would probably treat me with a lot more respect. Maybe not if I went today, but if I went back in a couple of years from now and, and I got my own restaurant, I'm a business owner, I'm successful, they, they're going to love to have me there. They're going to love to have me there. But at that time, they were not going to have me there. I didn't, I didn't even, you know, I was just like, I, I didn't even like, like, I didn't even, I didn't even like being out there, you know what I mean? Or in there. Yeah, I, I, I didn't like being in there. I, I just wanted to chill back in my room, drink some coffee and stuff and, and, and watch TV. You know I, mean? I didn't want to be out there. And I understand it completely. That's the way I look, you know. They don't, you know, they don't want, they, that's not the type of clientele they want there. You know what I mean? But that is what it is and, and it was what it was, you know what I mean? That, what am I going to say? But, but, but moving, you know, I, I'm telling you, years from now, they would love to have me at, at the same place. They would love for me to come in at the same place and they'll be talking to me differently. Definitely. You know, when you're a higher caliber person, you, you get a lot of respect, man. You get a lot of respect. Just, just being a higher caliber person, you get a lot of respect, man. You know, I don't want to just go, go to a place and, and have rich people respect me or, or, or just one circle of rich people respect me. I want people in general to respect me whenever I go somewhere and, and, and that you don't have to have a YouTube channel or, or have a media, like, like media exposure or be on TV or anything. You know what I mean? You don't need to, you can just by word of mouth and, and how you present yourself, you can, you know, you can be treated very well. And that's how I expect to be treated now. Haven't I come a long way, you know, but, but I have no hard feeling. I, I understood what was going on. I had no hard feeling towards anybody there, you know, and, and, I, and I'll tell you right now, excellent hotel, absolutely excellent, brilliant in its class. Anyways, I'm done. And uh, that's it for me now. Uh, f f that's it for me for now. Good afternoon.